Statistics show that about 1.6 million crashes occur yearly due to the use of a cell phone while behind the wheel. Among these accidents, it is reported that there are nearly 390,000 injuries caused by these distracted driving incidences. Our WSFL TV trusted advisors, Demesman and Dover, shared with us what to do if you are involved in an accident with a distracted driver. Jeremy, as you know, many accidents are caused by texting and driving every year, like 1.6 million. Who is causing most of these accidents? I mean, you would assume that it's primarily teenagers, but it's actually not. It's actually the older crowd that's causing more accidents than the teenagers are. I mean, first it's by sheer numbers. And on top of that, because I mean, you can't drive till you're 16, so you can't say it's a 16, 17, 18, 19 year old trumping the rest of the entire world. But it's any person who is allowing themselves to text while driving, that's what it is. People, people, it's a choice. It's an active choice and you're putting yourself and everyone else at risk when you do it. Victor, so why is texting and driving such a big deal? I think it's because the numbers are showing, like Jeremy just said, the numbers are showing a lot of accidents are being caused by this, right? It's a, it's a distraction to any driver on the road. And sometimes it's not just texting. I know we use the terminology texting and driving, but I think it's using the phone while driving because some people will be like, oh, I'm not texting, but they're, on Instagram or I'm not texting but they're watching a video on YouTube and bouncing their head back and forth from the YouTube to, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the road. We shouldn't just focus on the terminology texting and driving, it should just be distracted drivers usually are people who are on their phone while driving. Jeremy, what would you say is the best way to prevent texting and driving? We know put it down, it can wait, but are there other ways we can be safer on the road? I mean, first, like I've said before, it's an active choice. So you have to, first, it's, it's, it's educating everyone of the dangers and risks of this. People think about it, but it hasn't happened to them, and then it eventually happens to someone they know, and maybe they make a reaction. But you've got to also hold, when you're riding with someone, hold the driver accountable. You've got to be the guy like, hey, don't do that. We'll deal with it later. I know they got all those campaigns that say, put it down, it can wait. Yes, that's true, and it's working, but it's, it needs to work by the people around you being the ones to tell you. If you read a billboard, you're not necessarily gonna to listen to that, but if, someone, if someone's driving shotgun with you and they're like, hey, can you just put it down? I don't wanna deal with that. I, I, I don't feel safe doing that. You'll listen. So Jeremy, are there distracted driver laws put into place to protect drivers? Uh, one of the most common ones that people think of is the you can't text and drive law. I mean, I know it's very difficult to prove, and I think we've actually discussed this in the past a long time ago when it was first coming out, is that like, how do you prove that someone was texting at the time and something that's how it's written? but they can find you for it and they can look through and there, there is data that they can look at. So I wouldn't even put yourself at risk because it's not even about, am I, am I gonna get away with texting? No, it's about you're putting everyone else at risk and you're putting yourself at risk while you're on the road doing it. So what if I am the victim of an accident caused by a distracted driver? What do we do next? If you get in an accident, you know you call us, 866-954-MORE. 866-954-6673. Uh, but you are right, a lot of the accidents that we do get calls for are because the other drivers are distracted and they get rear-ended or they get T-boned. So when you're out there on the roads, we tell our clients, please be safe. Even if you're not our client, if you're listening, please be safe out there. There are a lot of distracted drivers out there. There are a lot of people on their phones. Just don't be that person who is that distracted driver. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to help you, you know? Uh, but uh, definitely put the phones away. And if you guys need us, Instagram, social media, at the Mesmin and Dover, TikTok, Facebook, and uh, website, youraccidentattorneys.com.